today, I gave Hope a haircut and a bath. So now he smells really good and his fur is real soft. Hi Sai Uchinanchu and Uchinanchu supporters. Today is day 25 of our petition to the White House to try to save Hinoko, Okinawa. We are currently at over 176,000 signatures. Now, don't forget that tomorrow, January 4th, Hawaii time, okay, Hawaii time, January 4th, starting at 5 p.m., we are going to have a live stream uh, look into Hinoko, the rally at Hinoko. There's going to be a big rally that day at the front lines at Hinoko, Okinawa. And some people in Okinawa were nice enough to set up a live stream for us so we can watch it live via the internet. So it starts at 5 p.m. tomorrow in Hawaii. But keep in mind, if you're in a different time zone, it's the start time is going to be different. But I will... Uh, try to post the link for you guys to that. I'll post it on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Okay? So 5 p.m. tomorrow, which will be 12 p.m. January 5th, Okinawa time and Japan time. Okay? So depending on where you are, the time is going to be different. I will be providing a message to the people of Okinawa. And also, I have an important announcement to make tomorrow. And I'll be making that announcement tomorrow via the live stream. So you're not going to want to miss it. Also, my mentor, Eric Wada, he will also be sharing a message live on the live stream. So please tune in for that. And then the very next day, I'm going to be heading towards Washington, D.C. It's going to take almost a whole day to get there. Um, and then January 7th, that's the last day of the petition, we will be having a press conference in front of the White House, a press conference and a rally. Um, I will be giving a message to celebrate the closing of our pet petition. And uh, quite a few People are going to be there, I think. There's going to be other speakers as well. Uh, we're just waiting for the final list of all the speakers. Now, I want to stress to all of you that we do have a plan. We have a plan, okay? And the plan is not just this petition. The petition is just one tool uh, that we and anyone really can use to help protect uh, Hinoko and help uh, promote the rights and well-being for Okinawans. Okay, the petition is a tool. That was always its intent from the start. It was just, it's a tool. It's not the be-all, end-all savior or anything like that, okay? It's, it's just something that can help us achieve our goals. Um, so we do have a plan in place. We have several other things in the works, okay? I can't talk about it because obvious spies are watching, but we do have a plan. But if you guys have any ideas of your own, uh, I mean, by all means, <laughs> go for it. As long as it's legal, safe, and moral, I think, you know, we, I mean, we could use all the help we can get. Now, some of you have been asking, why has uh, the petition and Hinoko and Okinawa, why have these things generated such little interest among Americans? That's a good question. Okay. America, North America, I should say. North America is a huge continent. America is a large country. Um, and um, I, I honestly, honestly, I would say the, av the, uh, the American public is pretty self-centered i guess it's i i hate to say it i mean i don't want to like i don't want to insult them or anything but they they really only care about american interests okay they don't really care about the rest of the world too much 
in fact, I would say the average American only doesn't even care about their their fellow Americans. Okay, they they really only care about themselves and maybe their family and friends. But I mean, you look at Detroit, right? The water in Flint, Michigan, has been poisoned for years now, for a long time. I don't know how long it's been, but it's been a long time, and they still haven't fixed it. It's a America is the richest country in the world, and they haven't fixed water for their own people in the middle of the nation. Okay, <laughs> like it's astounding to me, like how that even happens. But um, okay, that's just one example. There are many other examples too. But you can see that America is a large nation. It has quite a few problems. It's a very diverse and divided nation, and so uh, I just hate to say this, but uh, uh, an island, a little island like Okinawa, is just not on the priority list for the average American. Now there are some uh, good Americans out there who do care, and they are helping us. They are actively helping us in our uh, sh in our struggle in our uh, movement. Um, but they are few and far between. They are the vast minority. The average American just hasn't shown any interest whatsoever. Uh, um, so I know that's, I know it's it's a bad situation. That's wrong. They really should care more, but right now they don't. And so I'm trying to help get them to care and show them why it's important. And in my opinion, this base at Hinoko would actually be bad for America. It's not only bad for Okinawa, it's also bad for Japan, it's bad for all of Asia and the Pacific, and it's bad for the United States for a lot of different reasons. Cost, necessity, security, feasibility. I mean, there are so many different reasons why this base is bad for the United States. And I'm just trying to help share that with, with Americans and especially with American lawmakers want them to rethink the decisions made. Oh, and, and keep in mind that the decision to build this base at Hunoko was not made by most of the current uh, people in the US government. It was made by previous administrations. Okay, it wasn't Trump who, who made this decision. Okay, it was previous presidents and co Congress people. So I think a lot of them don't even know much about what's going on they really have no idea so it, it's uh, my job and, and our job to help inform them politely and you know in a nice non-aggressive way so and uh, you know here in Hawaii things are a little different maybe slightly better because Hawaii is not a huge continent like North America is a huge place right Hawaii is just a small island chain similar to the Ryukyu Islands or Okinawa. Uh, in fact, Oahu is very similar in size to Okinawa Island. Also has a similar population size. Okinawa Island though is more densely populated than Oahu. So anyway, um, that's why you know there's Uchinanchu in Hawaii like me who actually do care. We actually do pay close attention to what is going on in Okinawa and we are actively trying to help the Okinawan people so yes Hawaii Hawaii is just a totally different place it's a different culture it's a different lifestyle than uh, the continental United States um, and in fact a lot of times we here in Hawaii the locals of Hawaii we have many many disagreements with uh, people from the continental United States. Uh, in, in fact, we kind of we kind of don't really like each other sometimes <laughs> or we don't we don't really get along that well sometimes. Um, kind of similar to the relationship actually between Okinawa and mainland Japan, you know, Okinawans and uh, Japanese. You know, the relationship is is uh, kind of intense and difficult it's not like it's not like they all hate each other that's not true you know 
And the same goes between uh, people in Hawaii and, and people from the continental United States. We don't hate each other for the most part. <laughs> but, uh, you know, there it, it is a difficult relationship. And we just have a lot of uh, differences and uh, a lot of different lifestyles and f values. We have different values. I think that's a big thing. Okay, well, I hope that answers that question as to why uh, Americans and the mainstream American media just has not picked up on, on this issue yet really much at all. We're working on it. We're trying to help change things. But thank you all for your help. Uh, we would not be here where we are today without you guys. So, otsukara uh, sama desu. And chibari uh, Let's keep up the good work. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget, tomorrow at 5 p.m. Hawaii time. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more videos like this. Uh, Feel free to leave me a comment down below if you like. And uh, thanks again for watching. I will see you guys next time. Aloha.